Dynamite, 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 Dynamite. This is not the song for Dynamite. I think I'm doing the same joke for Dynamite two, two weeks in a row and I'm gonna stop doing it. And maybe you're... <laughs> I just imagine how next week we'll start the same way. But anyway, welcome to another Dynamite week, another Dynamite talk, my Dynamite talk. So, without any more jokes and funny things to say, let's just jump into it. The match started with the match for the Intercontinental Classic Tournament anyway. And it was a match between John Moxley and... It was a match between John Moxley and Jay Leto. And of course, we know that John Moxley is gonna win that one. Uh, the match was not that grueling as much as the Mark, Mark Briscoe match, but it was a good match nonetheless. Of course, as I said, John Moxley won. Jay Leto still with zero points. No, I'm not talking about Penta El Zero Miero. I'm just saying that Jay Lito has zero points. Another match for the Intercontinental Classic, which is not Intercontinental, which is just Continental, is Rouge versus Mark Briscoe. And honestly, I'm a bigger Mark Briscoe fan than I'm a Rouge fan. I'm, I really don't get the hype around Rouge. Is there a hype around Rouge even? I don't know. But his comeback was very heavily monetized, not monetized, announced everywhere. And uh, yeah, I don't get it, I'm not a fan of Rouge. Uh, but uh, he got the point. Uh, it was nothing spectacular, to be honest. And let's move forward to the important bit. That was the MJF promo. MJF got into the ring and he just said very nice things about Samoa Joe, how he's basically a trailblazer that, yeah, you get it what I'm trying to say, uh, he's just the, the the different guy that's doing everything right and uh, you get the point, very nice things and all of a sudden the devil guys came around and they were about to beat his ass up but Samoa Joe came out and he saved him and uh, after that the devil guy sent a message are you the hero, do you want to put your titles on the line and basically next week we're gonna see MJF putting the ROH tag team titles against mysterious people. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see who are the devil's people and probably we're gonna get a clue who is the devil himself. I don't know. After that we had a kind of a squash match situation that was AR Fox versus Wardlow. Of course, Wardlow just went there, just beat the shit out of AR Fox power bombs the match was cancelled by a referee but yeah i don't understand why we're putting ar fox in that dirty situation you know it's it's it, it's not good after that we had two matches that i really don't know what to say about them one of them is hardy's and brothers a versus top flight I really don't know what to expect from both of these guys. Brother Zay was trying to be entertaining, but all of these guys were just doing some random things and yeah, nothing. The other match was for the TBS Championship and all I want to say is how Emi Sakura always finds herself to be a contender for the championship. I mean, it's, it's kind of disappointing as well because she's always losing, but she's always a contender for AEW Championship, for the TBS Championship. It's so random and I don't know. Whenever there is a new ch I, I bet, you know, I bet that Tony Storm next contender is gonna be Emi Sakura. You know, I, I just bet like $5. $5 bet that Emi Sakura is gonna be the next random challenger for Tony Storm, that's that's it. After that, we had a beautiful segment between Christian Cage and Adam Copeland. That was basically the reverse segment that we got on the Adam Copeland's debut, when he was begging Christian to be a ta his tag team partner, but right now Christian Cage understands that he's alone on this island. So basically, what he did was asked Adam Copeland to be his tag team partner and was about to attack Adam Copeland from behind with the title 
but Adam Copeland was just too quick. He kicked him in the balls and he was like, go flip yourself. So yeah, the match in the next Dynamite is happening for the TNT title and hopefully Adam Copeland will win. Who knows? Last but not least, Swerve Strickland versus Jay White. I really wanted Jay White to get this one, but Swerve Strickland got it. It was just a good match. Nothing more I can say, nothing less the main event. And with that being said, Swerve Strickland has six points, John Moxley has six points, and all the others are losers. No, I, I think that Jay White somehow will manage to get to the final two because I understood that two people from each bracket are moving to the next part, so I don't know. We'll see what will happen. With that being said, if I was to rate AW Dynamite, I would have given it a solid 6.3 out of 10. I don't want to say too much about the score because I just felt it that way. You know, gut feeling. It was not perfect, it was not exactly mid, so yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.